Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. It is currently Thanksgiving weekend and we are here in Squamish. We initially planned to do two videos here in Squamish starting yesterday. But things didn't go as planned. Why is it still raining? The weather had other plans for us so we just made the most out of it and just stayed indoors. But today is a brand new day and we are planning to visit Shannon Falls and we have tickets for Britannia Mine Museum. <laughs> Despite all the rain yesterday, we were able to find a local restaurant here in Squamish. It's called Little Chef Bistro and they serve amazing food. I'm on the run, I've got no alibi for what I've done. Took what you treasure and I'm never gonna give it up. I left these empty streets and hide within the shadows. So we found this local bistro here in Squamish. It's called Little Chef Bistro. Mainly because Snap is craving for burgers and we saw great pictures online. I think one great thing about this bistro is everything that they serve here is made in-house. They have a nice ambiance here too, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Like kinda like kinda like this hipster vibe. <coughs> so I got their house special, which is the Little Chef Burger. It has flame grilled triple A sirloin, homemade bacon, three cheese mix with greens, grilled tomato, red onions, pickle sauce, and their homemade English muffin. Well, I got the El Cubano. It has a slice of homemade mojo pork roast, homemade pimo, pickles, three cheese mix, mustard, on a baguette grill. So my order comes with a side of a pumpkin soup. Very Thanksgiving, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very fall. Very fall season. Look how big that is. <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> it's so you gotta big. It bit more. <laughs> Mine comes with a side of root chips. These are very crispy. It's funny that you say I was craving for, craving for burgers, but I did order a burger. <laughs> oh yeah! Good. Before we leave the hotel today, I wanted to show you guys this view. This is what we woke up to this morning. You know winter is coming if you see snow caps at the top of the mountain forming there. It's quite crazy because we didn't really see any of those mountains yesterday when we were checking in because of all the rain and fog. We should probably mention that we are staying with Executive Hotel and Suites here in Squamish and we got a pretty decent price going to their site. So I think it's only proper that we show them this room, right? Yep. This is a studio room with an open concept layout. You got a king size bed, a TV, a kitchenette with a fridge, dishwasher, microwave, and a full stove. We have a small dining space, a sofa bed, and a walk in bathroom. One thing that we did make sure before coming here to Squamish is to get some winter tires because if you guys aren't familiar, here in BC, it is basically illegal to drive outside of the Metro Vancouver area if you guys don't have winter tires. So cold! Yeah, it's quite chilly today, eh? Yep. So it turns out that this Shannon Falls is the third tallest falls here in BC, going up to 1,100 feet.
time. It feels like the closer we get, the colder it gets. Right? I know. It's so cold. <laughs> yeah. We started zipping up our jackets here. <laughs> Definitely, definitely come early in the morning if you want great pictures because everyone just jumps in there and, and just take their own pictures, right? It's extremely busy today. Maybe because it's the holiday. Yeah, it's because of the long weekend, right? Mm -hmm. Well, at least you got to see it. Yeah. One thing I like about it is the viewing point of Shannon Falls is like five minutes away from the, the parking area. Mm -hmm. But they do have like trails around if you wanted to go for a longer walk. It's also nice that they have picnic tables around the area. My love will carry you We're in! We got our tickets! So I think we gotta put this on. So I think the first thing that we're gonna hit here is the exhibit. Unfortunately the movie is broken but we'll take a look at what the exhibit offers. Oh, it's one of those blasting box. You remember Wiley Coyote? Oh from yeah! Tunes? <laughs> <laughs> I found the gold! BC actually has a lot of history with gold. Second half of the 1800s, or also known as the Gold Rush, a lot of people came into the province to somehow try to make it rich. This is so cool! What is it? You can hear the speaker. Oh, I think it's a sound dome. So it amplifies the sound coming from that speaker. This is ginormous. It's so big. Is this real? I think so. It's a real truck. Look how big the wheels is. Can't even reach the very top of the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another shot for the scale. <laughs> so we just learned that this thing is 235 tons. It's so massive. So this one is gold panning. Let's go find some gold. The cool thing is anything that you see, anything that you get from the pan is yours. Ah, let's go! <laughs> so first thing you do is fill this up with sand. With sand. Yep. Okay. Oh, sand is so heavy. <laughs> but the idea is you pan it, you shake it like this until you find some gold. <gasps> I found one! Is I that real? One. Wow, you found one! You actually found one! <laughs> A few moments later. Here's the gold count at the moment. Here you go. Ah! Here's our gold, guys! I can hear the train! Yeah, so our next stop is the underground tour. We are actually gonna ride a small train. We're going mining! So spooky. There are <laughs> old photos on the wall. Must be the original photos of this place. Even the label is gone. I'm ready and protected. Do you feel safe? Yeah, I feel <laughs> safe. <laughs> so there are rules here. The number one rule, of course, is I am the boss. Yep, sir. Ah! I'm running at my head twice. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Such a klutz. <laughs> Good thing we have this. Are you happy? 
have to remember explosives in 1904 was very sensitive. Before we're going to leave the train, I want you to take everything with you and we'll unload by the way we loaded. We're going on foot. <laughs> All right, the one man can now move this around. And this is on a knuckle, and you can just go up and down and bend it all you want. I'm going to demonstrate that to you. Three, two, one. 90% humidity. Sweat by your standards. Oh, okay, I'll go for this big lot. So good. It's like we're getting a really brief history of the place. Mm -hmm. And for eight hours, these men would shovel into the mine car. They call the carbide light. And this is what the carbide light looks like. It's amazing, right? Do you see any gold? <laughs> okay, what we have here is the air whistle. Three, two, one. Are you awake now? What just okay. happened? <laughs> that was crazy loud, right? <laughs> there is so much history in this place, right? Mm -hmm. It's amazing that they still preserve everything. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. That was amazing, right? Yeah. And we learned a lot today, a lot of history. But it's not over yet because we have a movie. It's called Boom. And they're showing us in a few minutes. Our tour guide is very amazing. He's very knowledgeable. Yeah, and he's from this place originally, right? Yeah. So he worked in this mine mm -hmm. when he was a teenager. That's amazing. <laughs> this vicinity is somewhat like a small town, right? Mm -hmm. Of replicas of that age. We're inside the mill. It's so immersive. so fun that was so nice fortunately we couldn't film inside but we took a lot of pictures after it was still a great experience right yeah the quality is very like disney like experience yeah <laughs> or universal studios right yeah. think of universal studios but about a mine <laughs> <laughs> all right guys i think that's gonna be it for this vlog what a way to finish up with squamish right mm -hmm. we highly recommend coming here to britannia mine museum if you guys are around the area if you guys are new here, we'd love to keep you around. Please subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up if you love it. And if you have any suggestions on what we should do next, please comment down below. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye. Do we put it in my forehead? <laughs> <laughs> so we don't get lost? <laughs> 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 we have the same reaction. <laughs> so, how much are we making here? Let's take it to the pawn shop. <laughs> we have the size of those tires. There are people over there. Let's see how big it is. <laughs>